road rage. We've all seen examples of this on the highway. And as if the highways weren't dangerous enough. Now, it can be tough not to succumb to road rage. If some guy cuts you off, brake checks you, flips you the bird, you've got to keep your cool. But that can be a hard thing to do. And it's, it's tempting to react, but don't react. Because there's never a good outcome if you do react. It could cost you your job, could cost some fool his life. So you've just got to learn in those instances to not lose your cool. Forget about it. Blow it off and carry on. I remember one time that when I was coming out of Toronto, it was about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It was a winter's day. The road, was, the road wasn't too bad and I was in the early stages of rush hour traffic. And I was out in the left-hand lane. I was loaded up. I was about 80,000 pounds and I was loaded up passing a school bus. And as I, as I came around the corner, the, the road started to turn to crap. Now I could see that, so I kind of eased off it, and I was a little slower getting by the school bus. But there was a four-wheeler behind me just in a rush. He wanted to beat the traffic, and he was flashing his lights and giving me the horn, and, you know, just in a big hurry. So I got on by the school bus, and I got over safely. And this fool comes sailing by me and then carves it in front of me, and and flips me off only because the road had turned to crap this guy didn't just carve in front of me he carved in front of me and then started the first of a couple of 360s and he did the first 360 and I've got the jake on and I'm winding it down as best I can because the road's a little slick still slick enough to spin him and on the second rotation I see him disappear underneath the hood of my truck he's that close and I just wait for the impact the impact never came it was just luck that this guy slid off into the ditch and instead of me punting him off into the cornfield, the fool. But it was that close. I could have killed that guy just because he got mad and reacted. Just, just a stupid thing to do. Now, as a professional driver, you don't ever want to succumb to something like that. You don't ever want to react that way. Now, most of the road rage that you see these days is committed by four-wheelers. Let's face it. I've seen, I've seen truck drivers snap and and do road rage tricks but most of the time it's four wheelers so there's there's a few ways if if you feel the need to extract revenge there are a few ways to get back at these guys and extract revenge without risking your own license and your own vehicle or somebody's life first thing the best thing dash cams now i didn't have a dash cam back then that was before the days of dash cams they are a handy handy tool capture an incident like that on tape especially if it captures the license number show that film to the cops and it's all over but the crying and I wouldn't be afraid to show it to the cops anytime because you don't want jerks like that on the road they don't need to be on the road they're endangering people's lives second best tool second best way to combat it cell phones cell phones are a great weapon grab the phone call them in now in my mind anyone stupid enough to brake check an 80,000 pound vehicle or use his car as a weapon has one of three issues he's either drunk he's high or he's got a mental issue in all three of those cases there is no excuse not to call the law because you need this guy off the road and cops love to pull over drunk drivers so there's a really good way to get a guy that's committing road rage Call the cops on him, give him the plate number, and they'll pick him off the highway as he rolls by. Now the third method, and I don't, I don't recommend this method, but it, was, it happened to the Lettuce King. The Lettuce King uh, got cut off in city traffic. The guy uh, cut him off, had his window down, flipped him the bird. Well, the Lettuce King caught him at the next stoplight. The Lettuce King hopped out of his truck, ran up to the guy's open window, took the guy's seatbelt, wrapped it right once around the guy's neck, and tried to haul him out through the window. <laughs> the Lettuce King was so mad. Now that is definitely a deterrent against road rage, but it's not something I recommend. Uh, the Lettuce King uh, could have ended up in jail on that deal, so I don't recommend that, but that, that is an extreme method. But at the end of the day, drivers, never, never, never use your truck as a weapon. It's just, it's just too dangerous a machine and it can do too much damage too fast. You don't want to lose your cool. The sign of a professional is not to snap.
No matter how tough it can be sometimes, don't snap. The results aren't worth it. While I was just doing this video, I was thinking back in the day, some truck drivers take pills to help them keep awake. It, it was a bit of a problem in some factors of our industry, especially in the reefer industry. And guys would do these because the, the schedules were so hot, they'd literally have to stay up for days. I had no problem staying awake because I was a bit of an insomniac. I was a lot of an insomniac, but some guys needed to take these pills to stay awake. And I remember one particular case of a guy that worked for a carrier that that we knew the carrier we didn't work there but and it was it was sad to watch his dependence on these pills and his his slide into oblivion because of them and they would hype him up so he was always bouncing around and chattering away so it got it got so bad that you'd run into him in the truck stop and he'd he'd be speaking so quickly that you couldn't even understand what he was saying he'd You'd say, hey, Rick, and go, hey, what are you doing? And then look at you and wait for a response. And you didn't have a clue what he said. And then he'd go, and again, you're just, you're just lost and you don't want to be rude, but you're, you know, th you're thinking how sad this is that this guy is, is sliding into that, you know. And eventually he ended up um, in a rehab clinic down in Michigan. But it, w it was a sad part of our history in the trucking industry that that shippers and receivers could push you that quickly that guys would do that type of thing just to make better time just to get the load in quicker and it sure wasn't worth it and uh, all sorts of guys like rick learned that lesson the hard way so don't you ever become dependent on anything because it'll just ruin your life that's a sad story from the road but it's a true one take care keep the rubber side down I'll see you on the back hall.